Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Colin. And Sam. And today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Today is the Christmas assembly. It will be during the first period connection. Just a reminder that you, mu you must always be accountable for your actions. Let's be on our best behavior. Today is the 2023 6th and 7th grade orchestra concert. Hope to see you there supporting our warriors. Warriors, buy your book quickly! Students, the last day to purchase a personalized yearbook ad is midnight on December 17th. Make sure to tell your parents. Don't wait. Purchase your ad today before it is too late. Car riders, please pay attention out front and watch for parents. There are 1,100 of us to get dismissed at the end of the day, and we want things to move along smoothly. Bus riders, make sure to stay on the sidewalk if your bus has not arrived yet. Also, please pay attention to the buses. You do not want to miss your ride home. A warrior is always prepared, prepared accountable, accountable, thoughtful, and helpful. And, and now, now for, for the character, character lesson. Students, today's the day. Readable. Just maybe. You may receive a prize for a minute's read. All reading counts, of course. Reading a recipe. Might even read an article. In science. Everything. Readable will end in four weeks with a live crowning of the World Championships of Reading on the morning of the National Football League also known as the NFL. Super Bowl Sunday. All right, Warriors, game on. Let's the reading begin. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Evelyn. And Jose. With a few words of wisdom. Jovia Morales Gonzalez is a great builder, but not the kind you might think. She doesn't use a hammer and nails. Miss Gonzalez builds bridges between people. She was one of the first to write a book in English about Mexican-American culture. When she wrote her book, she built a bridge understanding between two very different cultures. We can all be bridge builders. We can build bridges of understanding between different people, races, religions, and cultures. In Russia, they say John has one custom and Jack has another. You can... During this holiday season, notice the difference custom being Honored, honored. For example, you may celebrate Hakuna, another neighbor may be celebrating Kanza, and is he another Ronda? Our country is rich with this kind of diverse, diversity. It's what makes America great today. Uh, be a bridge builder. It's free to learn from to learn from and understand those who are different you. from you. With something to think about, this is Evelyn. And Jose. Make it great or not. The, the choice, choice is, is always, always yours. yours. On Wednesday, the 10th day of the 12 days of Christmas, the theme is Baby, It's Cold Outside. So wear your favorite boots or scarves. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Lena bringing you the lunch for Wednesday, December 13, 2023. Your entrees will be chili with cornbread, taco max, and spicy chicken sandwich. Your sides will be broccoli, corn, lettuce with tomatoes, and salsa and sour cream. And of course, a daily choice of milk. Have a great day, Warriors. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Drew bringing you for 
bring you the weather for Wednesday, December 13, 2023. Today, there will be high at 55 and a low at 36 with a 0% chance of rain. There will be recess today. Tomorrow, there will be a high of 58 and a low of 31 with 0% chance of rain. Have a great day, warriors. The word of the day is exigent. It is an adjective. The definition is pressing, demanding. An example sentence is, he struggled to satisfy the needs of the exigent client. Exigent. I dare you to use this word today. You know what time it is? It's time to fill out the survey. Fill out the survey, warriors! What do you want to do tonight? Do you want to go outside? No, it's too dark, and I'm full after that great Christmas dinner that Mom cooked. Oh, why don't we try to catch Santa in the act tonight? That's a great idea, but how? Hmm, I don't know. Any ideas? Hmm, what about trapping Santa? Oh wait, that won't work. Only if we want a lump of coal. We could hide behind the couch and film him with your phone. Girls, it's time for bed. Okay. Okay, Lily, let's get back here and set up your phone so we, get, so we can get proof we've seen Santa. Got it, sis. Let's get cozy, because Santa Tracker says he's in London, so that'll be a couple of hours. Ugh, really? Well, I'll set up the camera, and should we point it to the chimney or the tree? I think the tree. It sounds like a better option. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's both try to stay up so we can wake the other up if they fall asleep. Sounds good. You can sit right next to the arm of the chair so you can get a close shot of him. Got it, get ready for a really long night, but it'll be really worth it. Yeah. <sighs> Lily, wake up, we fell asleep. Let's see if we got a video of Santa. I didn't get a video, a video of Santa. All I got was his hat. My phone must have slipped after we fell asleep. All, all I saw was when he saw what to get the presents and I missed that. Darn it. Should we tell mom about this or maybe dad when he gets back from his trip? No, I don't think they'll believe us. Mom might think we've spent too much time with Kylie. Yeah, last time she came over, she started a food fight at dinner. It's probably better I keep it a secret. Well, it's been a night, and we should probably get some rest before Dad go before Dad gets home. After we open presents. Merry Christmas, girls! I'm 